Did you know that fewer than 1% of the people in this country actually give a contribution and that more than 90% of that money comes from a smallest fraction of that? Do you have a few hundred people who are giving hundreds of millions of dollars to influence elections and the public policy process? That is not, you know, a government of the people, by the people, for the people. The National Institute on Money and State Politics uh, compiles state-level political donor information uh, from all 50 states to uh, help uh, provide transparency to both the elections and the public policy processes in the states. And we think we've created a resource here that is a gold mine for the citizens of this country to understand their democracy. 50 different states that collect 50 different sets of data on 50 different schedules, 50 different forms, and 50 different computer formats. And we have to put all of that together. So it takes a great deal of computer expertise to do it. And we give it for free to anybody who wants it. So with this model, you do something like this. Each election cycle, there are over 16,000 committees that we gather information from in over 100,000 reports. Uh, we end up with a database of over 3 million records. We follow not just legislative elections in each of the states, we follow judicial elections, we follow county, city elections in big cities. What's great about followthemoney.org is that it's there for everyone. Orders use it, citizens can use it. it. It is an empowering tool. It takes this incredible mountain of data and reduces the barrier to entry to nearly zero. Anybody who can go to a website can start to learn about where money is going in state politics and how it's affecting the political process. Our webpage is called followthemoney.org. It is a new platform that will enable whoever has an issue uh, of importance uh, in the public policy world, they can start tracking the donors, the lawmakers, and the legislation. We talk on a daily basis with reporters in large papers or small papers, the New York Times, uh, the BBC, Atlanta Journal-Constitution, or the uh, Cheyenne, uh, Wyoming uh, Herald. We have over 5,000 journalist names in our database, people who have used their data. Basically what I wanted to do is give you a little tour of our website. So. Over the years, we have nurtured the relationships with uh, reporters uh, to the point that now we did over 400 trainings uh, this last year. The Institute uh, has been used by the legal minds in this country for, for many years. Most recently, uh, in the McCutcheon decision, Chief Justice cited us on page 36. We provided expert witness testimony in a number of cases. Our data is invigorating a level of scholarly analysis that has never been possible before. There is a money and politics component to almost every public policy out there. Prison privatization was a really good one. Payday lending, redistricting, every day I'm seeing something new. And we are on the, the cutting edge of discussions about the health of our democracy. The whole point here is empowering citizen groups, empowering citizens to guarantee that citizens at least know where the money is coming from. The Institute will use its MacArthur Award to both increase our reserves and to bolster our uh, IT infrastructure. It's extremely important and it will make us even better resource for the public. We provide the facts, you draw the conclusions. Are you ready to follow the money?